Now the first step is to enable NVIDIA overlay. Now this has worked for many players so it might work for you. So you can open NVIDIA app on your computer. And then you can go to settings. And if NVIDIA overlay, if this is off, turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check. This has worked for many players so you can try this. You can even if if the NVIDIA overlay is already on, you can turn this off and check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So if you have the game on Steam, go to Steam, make a right click on the game. I don't have the game on Steam, I have the game on EA app. But if you have the game on Steam, you can go to properties. In the launch option, you can type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12 over here, launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now if you have the game on EA app, you can click on it and then go to view properties over here. You can type in dash DX11, click on save, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12, save it, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this, click on save, follow the next step. Now the next step is to repair EA app. To repair EA app, uh, you can go to EA website go to the official EA app website, EA website and then download the EA app, click on Windows and then run this exe file. Now do not um, click on launch the app, click on repair. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. Once the repair is complete, now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to set maximum frame rate to 90 or 60 in nvidia control panel so you can launch nvidia control panel and then you can go to desktop make a right click on the desktop and you will see nvidia control panel and now click on go to manage 3d settings and then go to program settings click on add if you see the game in the list click, select the game if you don't see it click on browse go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Once the game is added over here, select high performance NVIDIA processor over here. And then over here, find maximum, maximum frame rate. Now over here, you can turn it on and then you can maybe set it to 60. Uh, you can even try 90 if you want. So in my case, this I will set it to 60. So if you want 90, you can try 90. And then click on OK. And then at the bottom right, hit Apply. Now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to make changes in exploit protection for the game exe file. Now for this, type in exploit protection. Click on exploit protection over here. And then go to program settings at the top. And then click on add program to customize choose exact file path and then if you have the game on steam then you can go to this location you will find the game open the game i have the game on ea app so in c drive so select the game exe file over here and then click on open once you click on open uh, you will see this prompt this is for battlefield 2042 exe file only Put a check on override system setting. If this is on, turn it off. Put a check, turn it off. Again, this is already off. Off, off. If this is on, turn it off. Turn it off. Make sure you put a check on override system settings and turn off the settings below. Turn it off. Now once you turn it off, now hit apply, click on yes to allow and then you have to relaunch the game and then check. If you want to go default, you can always remove it from here for Battlefield 2042. You can remove it and that will take you to default. Now still not working. The next step is to AMD users, uh, you can uh, disable anti-lag and chill. So over here you can see anti-lag, chill. If these are on, you can 
turn the turn these two off this has worked for many players so it might work for you try this next step is to repair or uninstall and reinstall ea anti cheat now for this you can go to the game installation folder so if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files this will take you to the game installation folder for ea app click on manage and then view properties and then go to open folder and now you have to open this ea anti cheat folder and you, over here you can see ea anti cheat installer make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and find battlefield 2042 if you find battlefield 2042 now click on repair click on okay and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed select the game folder and then click on select folder and let the repair complete once this is complete now you can launch the game and then check so at the end you will see install success now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can click on update and once it is updated uh, then you can check if that does not work in that case you can make a right click on anti e anti cheat run as administrator once again click on yes to allow and then again select battlefield 2042 and then this time you can click on uninstall once the uninstall is done now click on install and once the installation is done now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can click on uninstall select battlefield 2042 uninstall it and then you can launch the game and during the launch it will install battle uh, it will install ea anti cheat so click on yes to allow and this will install ea anti cheat and then check now if you don't see battlefield 2042 uh, in game folder the like ea anti cheat if you don't see battlefield uh, 6 as installed in that case you can go to ea website and this is the official website go to the official website here you can see download the javelin anti cheat installer and then you can run this exe file once the download is complete so click on it and you will see click on yes to allow first and then now over here uh, find battlefield 6 uh, battlefield 2042 you should be able to see battlefield 2042 Pros do the same thing first of all perform repair if that does not work update it if that does not work you can uninstall it then install it and still not working in that case you can uninstall it and then relaunch now over here if you receive this prompt enter your ea um, ea and like your ea account email and password over here so after signing if you receive this prompt just click on okay and then click on play once again and this time you should not receive the error now still you are receiving the error uh, sorry still you are facing the problem then perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card select your operating system and then click on fine and on this page whichever is the latest 58108 is the latest right now whichever is the latest click on view and then you can download and then you can run this exe file So here you can see it's installing EA anti cheat and that should help you to launch the game. So once you run the EXE file, uh, let me close the game for now. So click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Now click on next. Make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer. and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to now for amd users whichever is the latest graphic card driver you can select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card i don't have the amd graphic card this is just an example 
So select your graphic card and then you can click on submit. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, so whichever is the latest 25.8.1, you can download it, install it, restart your computer and then check. Still not working, roll back graphics driver. Now for many users, uh, 577 has worked. So this is the latest one right now. So now for this, uh, you can go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Now, once you select your graphic card, um, you can click on view more version over here. And then you can install this 577 GE Force Game DD driver. Click on view. And then you can download this file and you can run this exe file. When you go for installation, make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation. Click on next. And then after the clean installation, restart your computer and then check. Now, for AMD users, uh, you can scroll down, click on previous version after you select your graphic card. And then if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. Now, this has worked for many uh, players, this 25.3.1. Uh, you can download it, install it, restart your computer, and then check. Still not working. Run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now, for this, you can go to the game installation folder and then make a right click on the game exe file, select properties. Go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game from here, and then check if that does not work. You can, you can even try Windows 8 and then hit apply, click on OK. If that does not work, you can even go for Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK. Put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK. And you can try to launch the game from using this EA Attitude Game Service Launcher. Make a right click, click on Run as Administrator, and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to, if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you, you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you're using Windows Security, open Windows Settings, go to Privacy and Security, then click on Windows Security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browser apps go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open again add and allowed app browser apps select all the exe file game again browser apps open e anti cheat select this click on open now launch the game and then you can check. Next step is to delete the settings folder. Now for, when you do so, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this, you can go to documents over here. And over here you see Battlefield 2042. Here you can see the settings folder. You can create a backup if you want. Copy it, paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup, you can delete this settings folder. And then you can launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, uh, you will see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64 version. Install both the files. Run both the files. And then once you run it, you will see repair or install option. So just repair or install and then download both the files and run both the exe file. Restart your computer and then check. Still not working. Then you can verify the game files. Repair the game files. Now for this, you can go to... Uh, Steam, if you have the game on Steam, uh, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files. Over here, you will find install files tab. Uh, once you select install files tab, at the right hand side, you will see verify integrity game files. Verify the game file. If you have the game on EA app, click on manage, then click on repair. And once the repair is done, launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.